Good day students, welcome to our module to discussion entitled The Self from the Sociological Perspectives. Our objectives at the end of this module, you will be able to identify the sociological perspectives about the self Demonstrate critical and reflective thinking in showing different aspects of the self. Examine yourself using private, public, and collective self. Integrate some sociological theories on how their personality develop. Let us start with the definition of sociology. It is the science of society, social institutions, and social relationships, specifically the systematic study of the development, structure, interaction, and collective behavior of organized groups of human beings, according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Next, it is the scientific analysis of a social institution as a functioning whole and as it relates to the rest of society according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Next definition, sociology is the study of social life, social change, and the social causes and consequences of human behavior. So class, in the realm of sociology, as we have mentioned a while on the previous slide, that the sociology is the systematic study of interaction. So in the realm of sociology, we ourselves interacts with the social world. So initially, the self is self-absorbed and is just concerned with, with its own. Okay? So conceptually, with the introduction of others, sociology as a science comes to pour expanding the self in its contemporary setting and relating with others as well. So, we relate with each other. Kaya nga, man is a gregarious being. We are sociable. Okay? So, no one could live by himself. As the famous adage, ang sabi doon, that no, no man is an island. Diba? So, no one could live by himself or herself alone. We need people like us to, to interact with. So by extension, class, man will always look for someone to communicate with. Okay? So we always uh, uh, look for someone na makakausap, makakabanding. No? So that is man. Tayo. No? So, the, the human person is a social animal. Like what Aristotle said, that man is born by nature, a political animal. We are a sociable being. We cannot live alone. Okay? So, he or she will always seek others for commercial or personal reasons. So, these reasons will always be equated with relationships. Okay? So, relationships and their scientific study will always be correlated with sociology. Kaya nga, a systematic study of uh, interaction, development, culture, ayan ang sociology. The first sociological perspective is George Mead's social self. So, class, George Mead is a sociologist. He argued that the self is not biological, but social, okay? So, self is something that is developed through social interaction. Like, for example, you are talking with other people. That's the best feature of a social interaction. Or you, you, you mingle with other people, with or either individual or a, a group of people, okay? So, self... Therefore, is constructed by directly, okay, engaging in the world through interaction and through reflections on those interactions. According to Mead, 
there are two parts of the self the self awareness and self image so uh, george mead proposed the idea that the self develops through social interaction so yung social interaction na yan, it involves the exchange of symbols or in other words exchange of language okay so and that understanding if symbols involves being able to take the rule of another okay that you take note of that if we say symbols in other words language okay exchange of symbols or language so in order for interaction to prosper person involved must correctly interpret the meanings of symbols like uh, you are talking to uh, someone no? nagpapalitan kayo ng uh, ng uh, conversation so per the person involved you as a person involved must correctly interpret the meanings of that symbols or language and intentions of others it can only succeed by the existence of common symbols common symbols like uh, like our language okay yung uh, Filipino okay that is our uh, national language now majority of us is speaking Filipino so it can only succeed by the existence of common symbols but accomplished through the process of rule playing okay so role playing it is the process in which one takes on the rule of another by putting oneself in the position of the person with whom he or she interacts like for example yung kausap mo uh, let us uh, let's say yung kaibigan mo uh, may pinagdadaanan for example then you uh, nag-uusap kayo you you interact with each other and then you are putting yourself doon sa situation niya. That is, uh, that is role playing. Isang poseso. Which one takes on the rule of another? You are taking the rule of another. You, you are putting yourself on the shoes of other people. That's role playing. So therefore, the development of the concept of self lies in the ability to wear other people's shoes. Okay, that's a uh, role playing. We have here I and me self under George Mead. So he said that all human experience internal conversation. Limbawa in our meditation or contemplation, we have that internal conversation with ourselves. Okay, so this conversation involves the I and me which he called paces of self sabi niya the eye is the pace of the self that is unsocialized and it is the acting part of the self an immediate response to other people it represents the self that is spontaneous free and unique it is the subjective part of the self so the I is the response of the organism to the attitude of others. Okay, you are responding to the attitude of others. That's the I. So it allows the individual to still express creativity and individualism. Okay, and understand when to possibly bend and stretch the rules that govern social interactions next on the me part it is the self that results from progressive stages of role playing or role taking as we have mentioned on the previous slides and the perspective one assumes to view and analyze one's own behaviors so you have that uh, perspective that you assume Ano, na makita and ma-analyze 
okay yung behavior ng uh, ng uh, i- uh, ibang tao for example so it is the organization of the internalized attitude of others so na- nandiyan yung tinatawag nating stereotyping or basic impression mo sa ibang tao that's the me part so it represents the conventional and objective part of the self again the me is the organized set of attitudes of others that is based on your perception on how you see other people you know your perspective on other people that you assume it is the socialized aspect of the individual yung i is the unsocialized aspect and the me is the socialized aspect then it represents learned behaviors okay attitudes and expectations of others and society me or the me part is being developed to the knowledge of society in and social interactions that the individual has experience okay based on your experience next is the generalized others it is one of med's best known concept he describe it as an organized community or social group are we a community yes are we organized yes or social group which gives the individual his or her unity of self The attitude of the generalized others is the attitude of the entire community. Okay, like for example, our uh, we Filipinos, one of our positive values is hospitality, right? So, pag sinabi nilang Pilipino, andun kagad yung yung concept, no? Yung perspective ng ibang nationality. that we Filipinos are hospitable. So just for uh, just for example to to elaborate this uh, generalize others, okay? Next we have Charles Horton Cooley's looking glass self. So the looking glass self is a social psychology concept na inintroduce ni Cooley. Okay? In this view The self is developed as a result of one's perceptions of other people's opinions. So, nadidevelop din pala yung self natin. Kapag may mga natatanggap tayong uh, opinion ng iba or commendation ng iba, di ba? nandun nabubus yung ating tiwala, yung confidence natin, doon nabubus or uh, napapalakas, na-encourage tayo, namumotivate tayo. Diba? So, for example, yung magulang or a teacher, kumbaga, uh, pinuri niya yung isang estudyante or bata na magaling sa art. Uh, let's say for ano, yung sa drawing or painting. So, mabubus ngayon yung confidence ng bata. Matatanim sa isip niya na uh, ito, artistic pala ako, magaling pala ako sa, sa art. So, nabubus yung confidence. Okay? So, the self is built through social interaction with or which involves three steps so number one people imagine how they must appear to others di ba? we imagine how we appear to other people na, bago tayo humarap sa ibang tao na, tinitignan muna natin yung ating sarili sa salamin kung maayos ba presentable ba so number two we imagine the judgment in that appearance. So, nakikita na natin, imagine din natin yung, yung opinion or judgment sa atin ng ibang tao. Either negative or positive. No? The third one, we develop ourselves to the judgment of others. Ayan. Kung baga, nadidevelop yung ating sarili din sa pamagitan ng judgment ng ibang tao or uh, either negative man yan or positive. Nad- through that, nadidevelop plus yung ating sarili. It depends on us on how we take the judgment or opinion of other people. Furthermore, people imagine not only how others see them and their actions, but also how others judge what they see. You know? people are judging us also based on what they see whether with approval, doubt, or hostility 
So as a result, the looking glass self concept is made up of feelings and about other people's judgments of one's behavior. So the self consists of a composite of the person's more or less accurate assessments. We assess other people's judgment about us. Okay? The concept of looking glass self provides an idea in how the self develops in relation to the perception of others. So it's it should serve only as a guide o for reflection. So yung perception pananaw sa atin ng ibang tao, uh, whether negative or positive, again, it should serve only as a guide for us to reflect okay and not and should not be taken to end up living in accordance with other people's expectations kumbaga limbawa mayon kasing dalawang klase ng criticism positive and negative criticism uh, either of these two natanggap natin from other people Tang, uh, just take it positively no Sabi nga, we should not be taken to end up yan, living in accordance with other people's expectations. Next sociological perspective, we have private self, public self, and collective self. Again, if we say private self, it is the cognition that involves traits, states, and behaviors. Next, an assessment of the self by the self. So, sometimes we, 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 we come to a point na we assess our self, our own self. Ini-evaluate din natin yung ating sarili. Ini-examine din natin. Like for instance, I am generous. Yan. It shows one's knowledge of his or her attributes that differentiate him or her from others. Diba? So, ah, ito pala ako. So, parang ito yung kaibahan ko sa ibang tao. Something like that. Next is public self. It is the cognition concerning the generalized other's view of the self. It corresponds to an assessment of the self by the generalized other. For you to have enlightenment, for example, ang example nito, ang public self, people think I am religious. So, oo, oh, oh, iniisip ng ibang tao na ako pala ay religious. Or, people think I am corrupt. Something like that. It shows one's relation with others. And the rule one assumes in that relationship. So that is public self. Okay? Yung, uh, it is the cognition. Yan yung nakikita nila. Okay? Ito say cognition. Concerning the generalized other's view of the self. Generalized other's view. Okay? Next is the collective self, is the cognition concerning a view of the self that is found in memberships in social groups. So, kung y y yung view mo on yourself is found, depende sa kung anong uh, uh, community or social group ka nabibilang. Like for example is family, co-workers, sa tribo, yeah, for is the professional organizations like in the academy or university ayan. so for instance ano, uh, a person may be identified as feminist attributes of being feminist that are similar with other feminists are emphasized forming the collective self another example is like you students ano? you may be identified as students then, yung mga attributes as students that are similar with other students are emphasized bilang a collective self. Okay? 
Next is the social identity theory. So, this is Henry Tajpel's greatest contribution to psychology. So, in social identity, it is a person's sense of who they are based on their group memberships. So, kagaya nung nabanggit natin doon sa collective self. Based sa kung anong social group ka nabibilang. Like, for example, is the social class. In social class, mayroon tayong lower class, middle class, and upper class. Okay, we have family or football team, etc. So, which people belong to where an important source of pride and self-esteem? Halimbawa, nabibilang ka sa ang kanang mayayaman, like for example. No? So, dyan tayo nagkakaroon ng pride and self-esteem. Groups gives us a sense of social identity. So, kung Halimbawa, sa family natin, dyan tayo nagkakaroon ng sense of uh, social identity. You know? A sense of belonging to the social world. So, Henry Tajpel proposed that stereotyping, yung na-mention natin yan, ano, yung basic impression. In other words, it was a stereotyping, putting people into groups or categories. Sometimes we categorize people is based on a normal co cognitive process, the tendency to group things together. In doing so, we tend to exaggerate. Number one, the differences between groups. You know? In doing, yung, yung stereotyping, in doing, we tend to exaggerate. You know? The difference, differences between groups. Number two, the similarities of things in the same group. So, Yung grupong binabanggit dito, this is known as in-group, as, tayo, and out-group, iba, sa iba, ibang grupo. Okay? The central hypothesis of social identity theory is that group members of an in-group will seek to find negative aspects of an out-group, thus enhancing their self-image. Kung baga, let's say for example, ano, uh, I, I, sa inyo, no? bilang mga students, mayroon kayong mga kanya-kanyang block. Kung saan ka nabibilang dyan, yun yung in-group na tinatawag. Then, the other block, yun yung out-group na tinatawag. Minsan, nagkakaroon dyan ng uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, they seek to find negative in your group. Ano? Negative aspect. Ano? Sa, 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 sa grupo ninyo or sa block ninyo. Something like that. Next, under social identity theory, we have the so-called prejudice views, okay, or bias views between cultures may result in racism, kagaya ng uh, between black people and white people sa United States of America. Di ba? Nagkakaroon ng racism. Because of the prejudice views. Okay? So, in its extreme forms, racism may result in genocide. Such as occurred in Germany with the Jews. So, nagkaroon niya ng genocide during the time of Adolf Hitler in Germany. Uh, in uh, With the Jews. Ito yung uh, the Great Holocaust. Ano, maraming Jews ang namatay dyan. In Rwanda, between the Hutus and the Tutsis, and more recently, in the former Yugoslavia, between the Bosnians and Serbs, even in the Philippines, class, uh, as we are being colonized before by the Japanese, by the Spaniards, by the Americans. So, nagkaroon ng uh, we are uh, the Filipinos before are. Uh, divided into two kinds of slaves. Nandun yung uh, aliping sa gigilid and aliping namamahay. Okay? So, we categorize people in the same way. We see the group to which we belong. Yung, yung, yung group that, that which we belong, that's the in-group, as being different from others, that is the out-group. Okay, and members of the same group as being more similar than 
they are. Again, yung, yung grupo na kinabibilangan mo, that is in-group. Then, the other group is the out-group, the so-called out-group, okay? Social categorization is one explanation for prejudice attitudes. In other words, them and us. Yan. Sila at tayo. Okay? Mentality. No? Yan madalas magkaroon ng uh, competition, di ba? Dahil sa mga in-groups and out-groups. Okay? Which leads to in-groups and out-groups. So, Examples of in-groups and out-groups in Northern Ireland, including us, ano, my Catholics and Protestants. Then Rwanda, Hutus and Tutsis. In Yugoslavia, the Bosnians and Serbs. Okay. In Germany, mayroon tayong uh, mga Hudyo and the Nazis. Diyan nagkakaroon ng... Uh, uh, prejudice attitudes because of this in and out groups next is politics even politics we have the labor and the conservatives sa football halimbawa liverpool and man okay. gender we have males and females and then social class meron tayong lower meron tayong middle and working classes Next, we have here the social identity theory stages. Ito yung mga stages class. Taj Pell and Turner, 1979, they proposed that there are three mental processes involved in evaluating others as us or them. In other words, in-group and out-group. This take place in a particular order. Una is the social categorization. And then, social identification. Then, the last one is social comparison In social categorization stage we categorize objects in order to understand them okay and identify them in a very similar way we categorize people including ourselves in order to understand the social environment so, we use social categories like black, white, as I have mentioned kanina, no? Australian, Filipino, uh, Christian, Muslim, student. And because they are useful. So, similarly, we find out things about ourselves by knowing what categories we belong. Saan category ba tayo uh, belong? Ano? So, we find out things okay about ourselves tungkol sa ating mga sarili no? by knowing what categories we belong so we define appropriate behavior by reference to the norms of groups we belong to okay so but you can only do this if you can tell who belongs to your group nasasabi mo lang daw kung ano ka Depende sa kung sino yung mga kasama mo sa grupo. You know? Like for example, uh, within your family. You know? ma, ma identify mo kung sino ka. Kung uh, alam mo or kilala mo. Kung anong klaseng family mayroon ka. Okay? So, an individual can belong to many different groups. Okay? Hindi lang sa family. Okay? Next stage is the social identification. So, this, uh, in this second uh, stage, social identification, we adapt the identity of the group. Inadapt natin kung ano yung identity, halimbawa, ng family natin. We adapt the identity of our family. So, we, we have categorized ourselves as belong, belonging to. No? So, if, uh, for example, you have categorized yourself as a student. And the chances are you will adopt the identity of a student. Of course, you will adopt the identity of a student because you categorize yourself as a student. Ano? Kung ano yung dapat uh, uh, behavior or attitude ng isang student, ganun din yung, uh, 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 yung identity na i-adopt mo. 
on uh, in in yourself and begin to act in the ways you believe students act then you will act as a students because you you categorize yourself as a student and conform to the norms of the group then you will conform kung ano yung gawain ng isang estudyante di ba makikiayon ka kung ano yung dapat gawin ng isang estudyante conformity there will be an emotional significance to your identification with the group and your self esteem will become bound up with group membership okay Next is the social comparison which is the final stage of social identity theory. So once na categorize mo na yung sarili mo as part of a group, like for example a part of a family or other social group, then you have identified with them. No? So then we tend to uh, i-compare yan sa ibang grupo. Halimbawa, uh, uh, ikaw ay belong sa isang company, then your department sa compare to other department again this is critical to understanding prejudice like for example is Filipino compare sa ibang nationality diba minsan nagkakaroon yan ng uh, 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 prejudice views okay so we are forced to compete in order for us to maintain our self-esteem diba? we are forced to to compete ano? nang sa ganun ma-maintain natin yung ating uh, image yung ating identity bilang mga Pilipino so this is social comparison so uh, competition and hostility if we say hostility conflict Okay, between groups is does not only a matter of competing for resources like jobs, but also the result of competing identities. So, kaya social uh, identity theory. Ano? So, in social identity theory, the group membership is not something point or artificial, which is attached onto the person. It is a real, true, and vital part of the person. So, kaya nga mahalaga sa atin yan. Yung ating it is uh, our identity, our social identity is a vital part of our personhood. Na tayo mga Pilipino, for example, ano, yung tatak Pilipino natin, it is a vital part natin bilang citizen. No? Again, it is crucial no, to remember in-groups or groups you identify with. Yung in-groups na tinatawag yan, yan yung, uh, yan yung grupo na kinabibilangan mo or let's say yan yung family for example na kinabibilangan mo and the out groups are the ones that we don't identify with we don't belong to them we don't belong to that society for example and may discriminate against so hindi maiwasan ito minsan ano? kakao ng discrimination uh, against us bilang mga Pilipino na galing from the other nationality Okay. So this is your activity too. The first question: How should you develop your self-image? Is it based on your own evaluation of yourself, or it is it based on your on how you believe others perceive you? Basi ba? Paano mo din develop yung self-image mo? Basi ba ito sa sa ilim mong evaluation or based sa evaluation ng ibang tao? No? So explain your answer in your own understanding, in your own words. Just explain your answer. So number two, of all the theories na tinakal natin, mag-cite kayo at least dalawang theory and discuss such theory develop the personality you possess. Papaano din develop ng theory na ito yung personality na nasa sayo? So Write the name of the theory, theory first and discuss your integration. This is the example, theory 1, then the name, then discussion. Theory 2, the name, and then discussion.
So that's the end of our module 2 discussion. Thank you for listening class. Thank you and God bless.